only rarely that New Yorkers get the opportunity to create something as spectacular, as innovative, as wonderful as this Hudson River Park. This is the most magnificent urban waterfront oasis anywhere in the entire country. And when I get on a bus and I see tourists looking at maps and so on and so forth, nobody knows anything about the park. I send them all west to, to the river because it's the greatest thing that's happened in New York for years and years. Alongside an idyllic riverfront, with miles of paths, sports fields, piers, and green space, it's little wonder that Hudson River Park is fast becoming one of New York City's greatest attractions. The Hudson River Park is the largest open space project in Manhattan since the creation of Central Park years and years ago. The creation and ongoing development of the park has only been possible through the efforts of Friends of Hudson River Park. Since the beginning, Friends has worked tirelessly to advocate and to raise awareness and funds for the park. Through Friends' efforts, Hudson River Park is on track to become an indelible part of Manhattan landscape and a destination for recreation and relaxation for all New Yorkers. The tranquil and beautiful park is a far cry from the waterfront just a few short decades ago. So I remember when the warehouses were cheek to jowl uh, up and down the, uh, the west side and you couldn't see the Hudson River unless you were in a car up on the west side highway. It was dangerous. I never came across the street. I just hope that one day the neighborhood would get better. Now one of the things people have said for a long time is that we want to uh, uh, reconnect people with the waterfront, uh, make people realize that they, after all we live in a city of islands. The city grew up around the waterfront and to connect people back to it. New Yorkers almost lost their chance to reconnect with the waterfront when developers proposed to build a dense highway system along the river called Westway. Before there was a Hudson River Park, I spent seven years as a lawyer opposing a major project called Westway that would have filled in the entire waterfront here. Through the persistence of park advocates, the plans for Westway were abandoned, leaving the riverfront open for a new vision. If Westway were not built, what kind of waterfront you could have, and the idea was that there would be a park on piers. Not only would this new park lie on Manhattan's piers, but also it would stretch for nearly five miles, existing in one near continuous swath from 59th Street to Battery Park. With this unique design set forth, the development began, and friends took on the crucial tasks of advocating for the park and raising funds for it. It really was fundamentally about changing the entire land use pattern of what the western edge of Manhattan was all about. When I see the park, uh, I am immensely proud of belonging to and being part of uh, Friends of Hudson River Park. Beyond the physical challenges of constructing such an innovative space, lay the efforts to include local communities in the park's development. The biggest challenge is trying to get hundreds of people moving in the same direction at the same time. The park benefits not just its immediate patrons, but also the adjacent neighborhoods that see increased real estate value. We've made it possible for kids to grow up in New York City and have sports and recreation. What we've done here is make a very magnanimous park and one that has been able to address what everyone wants and needs across the, um, the different communities. In addition to sponsoring and supporting an environment where communities come together, Friends of Hudson River Park is also at the forefront of the effort to raise funds and complete the park. Since the start of the development 10 years ago, the park has grown at a staggering rate. This year, the park will be 50% completed, with an additional 30% of park space being brought online. Yet, there is still much more work to be done. Large sections of the park are yet to be completed. As the only activist organization committed to the development and completion of the entire park, Friends is in a unique position to assist in the creation of something that will touch the lives of generations to come. Money is important, but it's when people band together and try to achieve something that things happen. And that's really what Friends of Hudson River Park has done. I'm really proud of the fact that uh, we've maintained a strong relationship with the people who've been involved from the very beginning and we're bringing in new people and we're really looking at the future of the park as well as its continuing development. Today, their help is needed as much as it was 10 years ago. 
From activism in the community, to advocacy in Albany and City Hall, to securing the donations that keep the building process going, Friends of Hudson River Park needs continued support. Whatever you can do to help will be appreciated by those who have discovered and those who have yet to discover Manhattan's next great park. Hudson River Park really helps you remember that there is a great waterfront and it really captures that for you. And being out on the piers, you just, it's, it's like floating away.